You're watching the Geico Top Flight Invite, presented by Axe. Las Vegas, Nevada, just off the strip, is the epicenter of some high-level basketball as Donda Academy takes on Hoop Nation in a battle of California club teams here in the Geico Top Flight Invite in Bishop Gorman High School in LVNV. Magic alongside Paul Biancardi, the third of four games today. It was 78-55 in the first game, 78-45 in the second game. If it's 78-35, Paul and I are walking off the set. Matt Schick, National Recruiting Director, Paul Biancardi. PB, it's hard to imagine this game isn't going to be anything but competitive with five combined ranked players between these two teams. This should be a pretty good one. Yeah, this game's going to be a lot closer, Matt. This game has an abundance of talent, and it's equally distributed. If you like scoring and you love guard play, we have two top 20 guards in Robert Dillingham and Jared McCain. These guys are dynamic. All right, let's start right there. Again, it's Donda Academy taking on Corona Hoop Nation. Let's start with Robert Dillingham, who's headed to Kentucky. Well, I said it before on Instagram with you, Matt Chick. <laughs> if I needed a bucket and I can only give one guy the basketball, it would be Robert Dillingham. Exciting in the open floor, shifty and crafty in the half court. He's got floaters, jump stops, three-point shots. He does it off the catch. He can do it off the dribble, and he finds ways to put the ball in the basket. On the other side, Jared McCain, a scoring machine, headed to Duke. This young man has three-point range. He also has the pull-up jump shot. When his jumper is not falling, he finds other ways to help his team win. He can rebound, defend, and he's headed to Duke. He's part of that number one class headed to John Shire. Now let's take a look at today's starting lineups brought to you by Axe, the Donda starting lineup. You got A.J. Johnson. He's a top 25 player in the ESPN 100. Chuck Bailey, a four-star on ESPN.com. Javante Taylor, known as J.J. Taylor, for the top 50 player, top 10 small forward as well. On the Hoop Nation side, Jared McCain, you mentioned him, who's headed to Duke. Mikey Price, a four-star top 30 point guard. Devin Williams is headed to UCLA. And... Eric Freeney has some Division I offers as well. So a lot of D1 talent here on the floor. It's Donda. It's Hoop Nation. It's Las Vegas. What more do you want? Paul Biancardi on the call as well. I want overtime in this game. <laughs> We're due. We're due after those first two games. Donda Academy in the Black Corona. Hoop Nation in the white. That shot no good. That was A.J. Johnson. And it goes out of bounds, and it will be Hoop Nation basketball. Hoop Nation out of Corona, California. Head coach Josh Giles. Went 33-1 last year on the high school level. Capturing first Open Division State Championship back in March. Shot no good. Offensive rebound there for McBride. Eric Freeney navigating, spinning, and hitting. That's huge for Hoop Nation. They need others besides Devin Williams and Jared McCain to score points to win this game. AJ Johnson should have been a goal 10, but no. Devin Williams got his big paws on it. No whistle blown, still 2-0. McCain with a heat check without missing, without taking the first shot. How about that block by 22 in the white? Devin Williams. He has really improved his senior year, 22 in the white. Yeah, we might need what? to see this again. Was this on the way down, PB? It doesn't matter. It was beautiful. <laughs> A little bit on the way down. Goes as a block. I see Circle Darren Savino. Square. Darren Savino from UCLA is there at the game. He called that a clean block. I'm sure Bill Walton would as well. There's Mikey Price, the four-star point guard. 
Sierra Canyon a year ago. Here's Eric Freedy now. There's Mikey Price. Played with California Basketball Club Sierra Canyon his junior season. Transferred to Centennial in June. Playing with Hoop Nation here in the club scene. Well, between Mikey Price and Eric Freeney, those guys can get double figures for Hoop Nation. Takes the pressure off McCain and Williams. Mike Price, known as a driver. I like the way he took it off the catch and launched it, knocked it down. Just from that shot alone, you can tell that he's worked on his outside shot. Here is J.J. Taylor, Javante Taylor with the free throw, the small forward out of Chicago, Illinois, number 46 in the ESPN 100. Big time player, he's got an older brother, Steve Taylor, plays professionally in the Philippines. J.J. a gym rat, right now he's got a couple of points to his name. It's five to two, Hoop Nation, Magic, Paul Biancardi. Game three of four here at the top flight in, but in Las Vegas. McCain. What a beautiful sequence between Jared McQuain, McCain, Devin Williams. Ball screen and then a little hand back, flip back into an open shot. These two guys know each other so well, they've been successful together on the high school scene. You don't have it off the ball screen, you get it off the handoff. Here's Robert Dillingham. Hickory, North Carolina, number one shooting guard in the class, number eight in ESPN 100, the five star. Committed to Kentucky, picked Kentucky over schools like North Carolina, Kansas, NC State, decommitted from NC State back in March. Reopened his recruitment, much to John Calipari's pleasure. And now Coach Cal working on an elite level class, perhaps number one. Nice feed inside, can't finish. That was McBride and a whistle. Watch Jared McCain in a ball screen with Devin Williams. Is the pick and pop. He throws it back. Williams nothing. So they run a little hand back. And McCain catch and shoot. Squares up and knocks it down. That was beautiful two-man game. Robert Dillingham for Donda. Ten on the shot clock. Taylor step back, no good. Strong rebound there for McCain. The Duke commit. Aaron McBride. That one off the front of the iron. The loyal, the Marymount commit. Can't not corral an 8 4 Hoop Nation. Here's Donda. Dillingham. Foul on the floor against Donda. Aaron McBride will inbound. Number <laughs> thrown out of bounds there from Free. Little miscommunication there with he and McBride. And an early turnover. A good communication by Donda defensively. They didn't allow themselves to get screened on that last possession. They forced the turnover. AJ Johnson. And Justin Johnson, the step back, rims out, rebound McCain. McCain's all over the floor, all over the basketball. Here he is with a head of steam, takes a step. Johnson with the push. And A.J. Johnson with the travel.
A.J. Johnson is a talented player, a big guard. He's getting heavily recruited. He's trying to cut that list down. Texas LSU involved. Runs inside. Yes, that's Freedy inside. Excuse me. Hoop Nation off to a 10 to 4 lead. Freedy making his presence known early, the junior guard. Great defense Taylor. by Hoop yeah. Nation. I right. mean, on they the ball screen. Traffic. Matt, they hit that foul at the six second mark. As I told you in the last game, once it gets to nine seconds, I would have my bench get up and start yelling, butter, butter. We can't melt on defense. And it's just a little sign to your team that reminds them not to foul when the shot clock is inside of nine seconds because you bail out the offensive player. I don't mind the code word butter. That might have been fine when you played or when you coached, but I think we have to update that word with a code word from some of the 2022 kids. Well, why don't you give me a suggestion? You want to say Instagram, Instagram? <laughs> TikTok, TikTok! Don't foul. Oh, they almost got McCain on a back cut. Nick Majerus would have preferred butter over any social media play. Magic Paul being Cardi, 10 to 6. <laughs> lead here. He, he did put Nation. butter. He did put <laughs> butter on a few items. Yes, he did. That I can tell you. By the way, hashtag AskCoachB on Twitter. We will be reading your tweets. Anything having to do with recruiting, high school or club basketball, rankings, or frankly, life. And I can give all kinds of advice. Sometimes unsolicited. Ten minutes to go here in the first half. Hoop Nation with a 10-6 lead. Here, Bishop Gorman. J.J. Taylor, top 50 player in the ESPN 100. Trying to work his way around Freedy. Kick out, yes! Keon Kinsey. Hitting that, J. now 10-9. Spin around, look at that offensive rebound. Off of the air ball miss, instead it's knocked away here is Davis Lurie. You can just feel the energy by Donda after they make that jump shot. Picks up their defense, J.J. Taylor, 6'8 uh, plus, takes on three defenders, gives it up. Deion Kenzie with the knockdown. Beautiful playmaking ability by J.J. Taylor. I mean, I saw him in Tennessee as a rising sophomore. He went inside the ESPN 25. All the talent in the world. He's just got to be more consistent with his productivity level. Can play multiple positions, handles the ball well. Top 50 player in the senior class. Does draw the foul. 16 fouls already, about seven minutes into this contest. A pair of 16-minute halves is how we played at the top Got flight it. invite. Lurie. Get back, JJ, get back. Brian McCain with the rebound. Here's Jared McCain. The Duke commit top 20 in the senior class. Kicks to Freedy off the front of the iron. Rebound, a strong one there by Kinsey. McCain made the right pass and the right play. Is good. That's Chuck Bailey, the four-star shooting guard out of Detroit. Chuck Bailey, when he's healthy, he can be a three and D guy. Look at him get in his stance, sit down, and defend the ball. And that time he just switched. Pick you up at 94 feet. 
Nice feed inside. That one does not fall. In the cylinder, it counts. Coming off the ball screen, Aaron McBride. A little hesitation. The quick give up. McBride on the glass. Matt, I told you we were going to have a closer game. It's 12-12 early. In the first two games, the game kind of got away right around this point. And a closer game than a 30-point spread is a pretty safe bet. Here's Jared McCain. Loses it in traffic and a foul. And Dillingham on that last possession just looked like he didn't have any legs when he got to the rim. With the under eight, halfway home in this first half, not an up at 12, a good one here in Vegas. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple Originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. Here we go! Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance. Because you never know where life is going to take you. Matthew, Little Caesars is now the official pizza of the NFL. Let's hear it. Pizza, pizza. Again. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. No! Pizza, pizza! We're ready! Are you ready for some old world fancy pepperoni? Get one delivered from Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Phillips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. I tied behind the chainsaws. Smart. If you're in a horror movie, you make poor decisions. It's what you do. If you want to save even more, you bundle your home and car insurance with GEICO. It's what you do. Tell me what I've done to you. I just don't like you no more. Huh? From writer-director Martin McDonough, Banshees is 100% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Ah! Shudderingly funny. Who told you? It's one of the best films of the year. That's what I thought. The Banshees of Inna Sharon. Rated R. Yeah! It's a beautiful time for basketball. A season fresh with hope and stars vying for greatness. NBA Open Week begins Wednesday and continues Friday on ESPN. The GEICO Top Flight Invite presented by Axe is brought to you by GEICO. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. Axe, smell irresistible all day. And Chevrolet, electric vehicles for everyone, everywhere. Matt Chick along with the irresistible one, Paul Biancardi in Las Vegas. Donda and Hoop Nation tied at 12. Look at the top 10 players in the ESPN 100. We see Robert Dillingham on the floor before us. How would you evaluate this top 10, Paul Biancardi? It's a hard playing group. Now, the class of 2023 is good. It's not some of the best talent that we've had in the top 10, but it's a collection of talent that plays really hard. Justin Edwards, Sean Stewart, we saw in the last game. Omaha, Bill Yu going to Iowa State, and Ron Holland, who is still uncommitted. Those are some of the hardest playing guys I've seen in the last few years. Class of 2023, good and getting better. Aaron Bradshaw just committed to Kentucky tonight. High school yeah, teammate DJ Wagner could be on the verge of making a commitment as well. Out of the timeout, McCain cannot connect. Here's Donda with a head of steam. Nice pass and the finish. That is Chuck Bailey on the receiving end. Donda with the one and done miss. Dillingham with the nice give up to Bailey. Bailey's got a great. Frame. He's 6'5", he's strong. He can play that small forward or that big two guard spot at the college level. Go, go, go. Go, go back. 
as I said, been up and down a little bit with those injuries. Hopefully, he can stay healthy off the left part of the yard. Maybe it's Lurie. Aaron McBride kicks. Here's Mikey Price. Already has a three ball here tonight. Trying to shake off Trent Lincoln. Left hand goes to the line. Mikey Price is really fitting in well with his teammates. I think he's finally found a home. The chemistry is good. The shot making and shot attempts are solid. He's not trying to force it. Everything's coming within a flow. I like what I see by Price. He's got some big shoes to fill at his high school. In Centennial, Donovan Dent now in New Mexico. There at that point guard spot. Centennial went 33 and 1 last year. Won the open division in California. Aaron McBride, a little Marymount commit. Put down a double-double every game, according to his coach Giles. 10 to 16 points, 10 to 12 rebounds. Pretty strong kid, they call him a, calls him a junkyard dog. Matt, part of that double-double is he knows where he's good from when it comes to scoring. And the glass, he just works at it. He's always attacking the glass. He's blocking out. Offensively, he's trying to get second chance points. I mean, he is a junkyard dog. Mikey Price. Shot no good, a little bit off balance. Skip ahead pass, extra pass, corner three. That one no good. And the foul. Jacob Bonarby, senior center out of Encinitas, California. 6'9", 230, strong body, showing how. Bonarby in the right place at the right time. And he just moved his defender right out of the way. And he did it with his hips. A lot of high school kids use their hands too much, and they get a lot of fouls called. Bonarby that time did it with the hips. Sixteen to thirteen, Donda with the lead on Hoop Nation. The third of four games coming your way today and tonight on ESPN Plus. Four more games tomorrow, and then on ESPN Two on Sunday, four games including the championship game. Here, this top flight invite, part of the Border League, An incredible preseason event. Freeney, little stutter step, little drive, little go. Can't get that one to fall. That should be down to ball, though. It's going to stay. Eric Freeney. He just plays without fear. Not afraid to go into the basket. We saw him in the summer playing for the Compton Magic. Now he's a strong two-way player. Not only does he attack the basket, but he defends the ball well. Mikey Price finding his way to the rim and draws contact again for the third time tonight. And that's what it does, Price's Matt. game. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Gets into the paint, draws contact. A bulk of his points will come from the free throw line. And that's why when he made that catch and shoot three, that opened my eyes that he's improved his game from the outside. Started alongside Amari Bailey at Sierra Canyon. Transferred here in the summer. And now pulls Hoop Nation to within a point. Here's Robert Dillingham, the Kentucky commit. Lobs that one up, can't connect. There with his teammate, J.J. Taylor. Here's Hoop Nation going the other way. Throws it in, a turnover. 
returning the favor. Dillingham, that time the connection is good to Jacob and Army. Jake Bake cannot connect there. Dillingham grateful for that miss. Watch this playmaking ability by Robert Dillingham. His eyes are up. And the alley-oop goes upstairs on time, on target to his big man. Jacob Bernarbi. You know, Robert Dillingham is trying to convert himself into a point guard. He's naturally a scoring guard. And I think his focus this year is to show people that he can play make. But he's got to make sure he doesn't lose that aggressiveness and that cleverness that he has to score in the basketball. He reads the floor so very well. Keeps defenders off balance. And there you see McCain going the other way. A little tit for tat here. You see the Kentucky commit at one end, the Duke commit at the other. And McCain is just so fundamentally sound. He puts a lot of time into his game, Jared McCain. Jared McCain's an outside shooter, but he's also a driver. The catch, rip, go. He's not overly athletic, and he's not overly quick, but the ability to catch it, hesitate, and go made him fast and quick on that drive. Gatorade State Player of the Year, the state of California. Gonna say the leg kick out there is what the goal is gonna be on Dillingham, it appears. And Jared Tried McCain. Draw the contact. Go ahead. No, Jared McCain just came from USA Basketball. And Don Showalter said that you know, he just tries to do everything the right way. And he tries to make winning plays. And we see it here tonight in the first half. Jared McCain can do it all. Shooting guard. Number two shooting guard of the ESPN 100 top 20 prospect overall. And we got a timeout here on the floor. This the third of four games coming your way today on ESPN Plus. Four more tomorrow on ESPN Plus. And four more on ESPN2 coming up on Sunday. A couple of blowouts earlier. AZ Compass, what a loaded team that is. Wouldn't that be something to see them match up with the Florida Eagles in a championship setting coming up on Sunday on ESPN2. Both teams putting up 78 points and blowout wins. We got the California Basketball Club, Ronnie James and CBC taking on the home team tonight. 12.30 a.m. Eastern. This place is going to be rocking. If AZ Compass plays the Florida Eagles, you'll have over a dozen ESPN ranked prospects just in that game. And both teams look really strong when it came to defending. And that would be a high level game. That would be an awesome championship game if it got to that point. But Jared McCain showing his conditioning, his winning mindset. Now this guy's a celebrity, kind of like yourself, Matt, yep. on social media. Yep. Except he has a few million more followers. Well, I don't have negative millions of followers. I mean, he's got 1.6 million followers on TikTok. I have zero. Because I don't have an account. I refuse to do so. But he is a social media mogul. He is, but he doesn't spend a lot of time on it. You know, he has his priorities down. It's basketball, school. You know, social media is third on that list. You know, with a lot of other guys, it's, it, you know, social media is the priority. Okay, what a kick out three. Yes! McCain with the assist. And the three ball corner pocket hoop nation up a deuce. And you said he was the number two. Two guard in the class. Guess who number one is? Robert Dillingham on the other team. Might be a little bit of motivation for Jared McCain tonight.
Two players using your rankings to give you entertainment, Paul Biancardi. I like the way you do this. Here's Jared McCain, the Duke commit, creating for others. Open floor, head up, eyes wide open. Finds his teammate in the corner. Under control, plays fast, but he thinks slow. He can read the floor. He understands when to create for himself or find others. This free throw routine where he closes his eyes, thinks about making the free throw, and then you see one motion into the shot. No hitch in his free throw. Smooth. One point lead for Hoop Nation. J.J. Taylor pushing it up the floor. For we have Don. Fre yeah, Freeney right on the ball, tough. I like the defense of Eric Freeney. The ball as he shoots it. Justin Johnson, the four star power forward out of Drought, Florida, with a chance at a four point play. Justin Johnson is an extremely talented prospect. I mean, he's three feet behind the college line. Nothing but the bottom of the net, and he takes contact. Good defender as well. As coach says, he'll always guard the opposing team's best player, a high motor. Let's go, let's go, Coach Sterell right, expecting a big year out of him and a good start there with a four-point play and a three-point lead for Donovan. Three minutes to go here in this very entertaining first half in Vegas. McCain stutter, step draws traffic, three trees around him. And he's going to go to the line. Wow, does he draw a crowd. Dondo with the good help side defense, a little late, but nobody steps in for the charge. The help wasn't outside the paint. McCain could recognize, and he just went strong. When you go strong to the basket, good things happen as an offensive player. Josh Dow says he's just an incredibly smart player. Highest I basketball IQ I've ever been around, he says. And showing that tonight. Near double figures here with two and a half to go. Three minutes to go in this first half. There's that man again, Justin Johnson in the heat check. He's got seven points in his last two trips. And he is terrific off the catch. Look at McCain, push on three! He's so loose and confident. J.J. Taylor trying to get it on the act. That air ball goes awry. How about McKay, PB? Sets his man up off the ball screen. Gives him a little chicken wing. And the step back with splash. <laughs> and a few words getting back on defense. Johnson with the three at one end. McCain with a little step back on him at the other. We got ourselves a doozy here. One point. Game in the alley -oop. That one to Aaron McBride. Great playmaking ability on both sides. Less than two to go here in this first half. And Jared McCain set the back screen to create the lob at the basket. Hey, it is good. That's A.J. Johnson, top 10 point guard, number 25 in the ESPN 100 out of Woodland Hills, California. All the shots are going in. That's Freeney. Aaron McBride with a little dribble handoff screen. I'll tell you what, he can free you up, Aaron McBride. Jay Johnson's got a lot of high major offers. He puts that one high off the glass. How about Mikey Price getting in on the egg? He's got eight. I think Dillingham needs to become a little bit more selfish in a good way for Donda. 
He's just standing. He's got to move to get open. There he is. We'll go to the line. Jared McCain sets the back screen. They throw it upstairs. Aaron McBride with the flush. That's the versatility and the winning ways of Jared McCain. Assist maker, shot maker, and a screener. Dillingham's got six points. Four of those coming from the free throw line. Shot, shot. The number one shooting guard in the class. Facing the number two shooting guard in the class, and Jared McCain. A great matchup tonight. And we got 16 minutes plus to go here on ESPN Plus. McCain thought about it, a little spin. Trying to shake his man. That one off the back of the iron and a whistle. Jared McCain touches the ball. He's got one guy on him, and he's got four other players looking at him. They are loading up when McCain touches it. And Hoop Nation, they're running some ball screens to get him open. They're also doing some handbacks. The more Jared McCain moves without the ball, the greater advantage he'll have. There's the UCLA commit, Devin Williams. He was terrific in July for the Compton Magic. Knocking down threes, blocking shots, running the floor. The UCLA has a gem coming in next season in Williams. Moved all the way up to number 40 in the rankings. Offensive rebound could hold for one. Instead, they'll take a quality shot in the three. That's Aaron McBride. Five threes in this first half for Hoop Nation. Clock winding down. Dillingham off the front of the iron, and that does it. 77 combined points in the first half. Jared McCain with 14 of them. The Bellagio Fountains putting on a show. The boys inside, Bishop Gorman doing the same. We're at the break. Here we go! Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance. Because you never know where life is going to take you. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Well, well. Heard my baby sister's buying a car. You'll need my secret weapon. Gross, no. Anyway, I already used Capital One Auto Navigator. It was awesome. I found my car online and I got pre-qualified instantly. Bet your credit score went. Wasn't affected at all. Then I got my real rate and monthly payment, had an amazing test drive at the dealer, and made this purchase. Right. Hold on, check it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What's in your wallet? Matthew, Little Caesars is now the official pizza of the NFL. Let's hear it. Pizza, pizza. Again. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. No! Pizza, pizza! We're ready! Are you ready for some old world fancy pepperoni? Get one delivered from Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. With DirecTV, I can get live TV and on demand together. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Whoops. Oh, no. The housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. I just want to talk! <laughs> Who flips the table? Get your TV together. Call 1 800 Direct TV to save up to $120. It's a beautiful time for basketball. A season fresh with hope and stars vying for greatness. NBA Open Week begins Wednesday and continues Friday on ESPN. Did you think you could relax? 
that you'd seen everything there was to see? Or have you realized you can't look away and that the game has never been better? That is hockey. We are at halftime in Las Vegas with the Geico Top Flight Invite. Just a precursor to a great season of high school basketball. The National Interscholastic Basketball Conference, otherwise known as the NIBC, tips off a little more than a month from now. We had eight teams last year. We got ten now with the addition of AZ Compass Prep and Lujai Academy. That's Long Island Lutheran PB. It's going to be a great year. Well, the conference just got bigger and better. The talent level is unmatched. Ten teams will compete for a championship on the national stage. It's the ultimate basketball experience. There is nothing like the NIBC in high school basketball. We've got nearly 30 ranked players according to our ESPN rankings, including a handful that we're seeing this weekend in Vegas, PB. KJ Evans, long, skilled, and athletic with a high basketball IQ. He's headed to Oregon. Also keep an eye on Cooper Flagg. Number two in the class of 2025. He is the hot name in high school basketball. When it comes to a couple of guys to keep your eye on, though, how about Sean Stewart who's headed to Duke? Yeah, let's lock in on Sean Stewart. He plays with impressive energy, brings a toughness, a defensive mindset. He can score the ball from short range. He is a beast in the paint at the rim, and he is relentless on the glass. And Mookie Cook from AZ Compass Prep, loaded with versatility. You see the outside jumper. He can play and defend four different spots. He's noticeably stronger, and he's going to play for Dana Altman at Oregon. Yeah, just a handful of the many talented prep prospects we will see in the NIBC. Games will be on ESPNU, ESPN Plus all season long. The Geico Top Flight Invite continues next. Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance. Because you never know where life is going to take you. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Phillips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. There are all kinds of products in this world. Things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. It's a cat. It's an owl cat. It's an old cat bat. Some things leave you guessing, but not MailChimp. MailChimp takes the guesswork out of email marketing by analyzing millions of data points from the billions of emails we send to offer personalized suggestions for how to improve engagement and revenue. Guess less and sell more with the number one email marketing and automation platform. Intuit MailChimp. I'm Malak, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is it has that kick. Not too spicy, but it's just enough for your taste buds to feel that level of heat. And you're like, ooh, this is good. It's the perfect amount of spicy. Hi, I'm Capri, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. You can tell they actually put it on the grill, cooked it in the sauce, marinated it. You're definitely getting a good grilled spicy sandwich. Are you ready for football? Are you dreaming for football? I love you, Josh Allen. Are you crafting, prepping, and screaming for football? Good. Then you're ready. A great story has magic, power, and every once in a while, it has miracles. As luck would have it, 
That's our story. Top Flight Invite, presented by Axe. We axed for a really good game, and we've got it. <laughs> Hoop Nation with a 40-37 to 37 lead over Donda here at the half. Matt Chick alongside National Recruiting Director Paul Biancardi. Jared McCain, what more can you say about the Duke commit? Top 20 prospect over on the class uh, in the ESPN 100 class of 2023. Not only that, number two shooting guard. Maybe showing he might be the number one shooting guard with that first step performance. You're always lobbying for someone, Matt Chick. <laughs> but Jared McCain was on a mission in the first half. He led his team in scoring. He had some impressive assists. And I love the back screen he set for the law. But how about this ball screen pop and hand back action? Fundamentally sound and on balance. He catches the ball. He reads the floor. Makes the quick blow-by dribble in transition. The paint penetration and the kick out was gorgeous. He takes on three defenders. There's no help. Tries to make something happen. He scored a bunch of points from the free throw line as well. Let's take a look at our first half stats. Brought to you by Geico. Each team with five made threes. They're both getting it done at the free throw line. Hoop Nation getting some extra opportunities there with that offensive rebounds and those rebounding edges. Pretty clean game. Just five combined turnovers so far here. What's going to be the difference here in the second half, PB? I think Robert Dillingham has to assert himself from a scoring standpoint for Donder Academy. They're moving the ball. They're playing very unselfish. They have a lot of guys who can score. But Dillingham DNA is to score the basketball. And I know he's trying to be a playmaker because he has so much talent. But he has to pick his spots a little bit more aggressively for Donda. Hoop Nation, keep the ball in the hands of Jared McCain. Aaron McBride was the unsung hero in the first half. Aaron McBride had himself a nice first half. Hit a three. Finished with six points. Price had six. Franey had six. McBride had six. Eight players in the scoring column for Hoop Nation. Seven for Donda. Price, that one is rejected. That was J.J. Taylor who put that one off the glass. Devin Williams. Tried to save that one to Aaron McBride. Instead, it's down the ball. Corner three. Got that one. No, that was Justin Johnson. Offensive putback, though. McCain does a really nice job of rebounding down for a guard. Johnson hit a few of those threes in the first half. Tough move there, and McBride puts that one through traffic. And that's eight from McBride. We talked about him averaging a double-double. He's going to get his ten rebounds one way or another. J.J. Taylor, spin move around McBride. That was sweet. And that's what they call talent. One-on-one, -on -one, length and skill. J.J. Taylor with the isolation. McCain trying to body him up. He gives away three or four inches. That was smooth by J.J. Taylor. J.J. Taylor's got a bunch of high major offers, including Kentucky, Illinois, Duke. Florida, Gonzaga, Kansas. McBride puts that one in. And that's 10 for McBride. That's right. I love his physical presence. Only about 6'5", 6 6'6", 6 6, but he is productive. Mikey Price pushing it up the floor. Mikey Price takes it himself, but follows that one by Devin Williams and a timeout for Donda. My, Mikey Price, he puts pressure on the defense because you know he's going straight to the rim, so you better get back and protect. Nice cleanup by Devin Williams. I mean, Price, he's got a nose for the rim. 
He's not, he's not going in there looking to pass it. He's going in there and saying, you've got to stop me and then I'll give it up. And I love the way Devin Williams followed the play up. Just two points for Donda in the first couple of minutes here in the second half. And that J.J. Taylor move to the rim. We're Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas. One more game tonight. And four more tomorrow and four more on Sunday on ESPN2. And as the game starts to shift a little bit in the direction of Hoop Nation, I'm looking at Donder and saying, okay, who's going to be the leader of this team on the court? We know where the talent is. Is Robert Dillingham going to be the leader? Is it going to be A.J. Johnson? Somebody has to settle this team down and make sure they get quality looks on the offensive end. There's Chuck Bailey. Dillingham. Went just rims out. Could have gotten him going there. Williams with the rebound. Yeah, good set play by Darrell Wright. A little rescreen action for Dillingham. He was wide open. Mikey Price stepped back. That one short arm and throw that one up as Devin Williams. The UCLA commit. Cleans it up for the second time. You know, he's not a low post threat. He's 6'10-ish. He's more of a face-up. Center, if you will. Shot blocker. But he does a really nice job of getting to the offensive glass for opportunities. Speaking of which, Jacob Barnaby has done that. He's lived around the rim. He's closing in on double figures as well. There you go. Derek Free draws the contact. He will go to the line. Hoop Nation with some good ball movement. Mikey Price with the shot. A little short. Could have been a pass. Devin Williams, right place, right time. Good anticipation. If you're a big guy and you're not going to get the ball on a set play, you've got to follow the ball and anticipate the shot so you can get to the glass. Mikey Price officially was given an assist on that. You good with that? No. No. That was an <laughs> air ball assist. Yeah, you got you got to change the category. you got to call it an air ball assist. Unintentional assist. Point lead here for Hoop Nation. What does Don to have to do here to get back in this? Well, they got to move more on offense. A lot of standing, a lot of dribbling. And you're playing into the hands of the defense when you do that. McCain wide open three. As he, he dribbled up the floor, he saw a <laughs> wide open spot there beyond the three point line. It was too late for Don. And that's part of his shooting drills before school in the morning for Jared McCain. He gets up early, he's in the gym putting up shots. And that looks like a shooting throw. He's got 17 points tonight to lead all scores. How about another? Tried to save that one. That was a little heat check there for McCain, but he earned it. You know you're a good shooter, and you put time into your jumper. When you push it up the court, stop and transition behind the three-point line. Not many guys are confident in their sh jump shot. Jared McCain is. Coach calls him the low, the most low-maintenance superstar he's ever encountered. That three ball rattles in. It's Chuck Bailey, the four-star shooting guard from Detroit. That was much needed. Chuck's dad played at Detroit. He was a good basketball player in the horizon there. Yep. Chuck Bailey Jr. Okay, no, you heard people calling for a travel. He was mindful of his steps. What a magician he is with the basketball. Well, he has footwork so he can move a defender. He has the shot fake. He utilizes Everything there is on the offensive end, his eyes, his shoulders, 
his head, the ball fake. He'll do anything he can to get a defender off balance, and then he goes to work. His body's more cut, his conditioning level is high. He's a high level two guard who's a terrific playmaker. Coach Giles says he wants you to coach him hard because he wants to be great. That's a sign of a great player. 19 points with a few threes. A rebound shy of a double-double. Dillingham, no, rejected by Williams. Don is just throwing up shots now, just out of system. And a lot of those shots are fadeaways. Step back three, that one off the front of the rim. That was Aaron McBride, then Loyola Marymount commit. Up ahead, the throw down from Taylor. Great throw ahead pass by Donda. They could be so explosive in the conversion game because they're so athletic and long. They have a lot of play finishers. They can make a stop, throw it ahead, they can get some easy buckets. You see Hoop Nation, a lot of movement, a lot of cutting, and a lot of passing. How does he get that shot off? He, he just needs a hair of space. And he gets that off, and he's automatic. Because he has advanced footwork. And he works on his footwork, Matt. You know, you talked about him being a low-maintenance superstar, as Coach said. Well, he's, he's a high-level worker, and he works on the basics. And you can see that in his game. You can see it in his shot mechanics and his shot preparation. Price buries the three. That's the seventh made three for Hoop Nation and the second for Price. And they're up 12. Matt, Jared McCain took two defenders with him, gave it up. It allowed a four on three for the open shot. Watch Jared McCain off the ball screen. He sees two on him. Well, then he gave it up. Now it's four on three. McBride with the extra pass. And Mikey Price has put some time into that jump shot. He's made two of those tonight. But McCain used the back dribble to take two guys with him and gave it up. Red, red, red. Hoop Nation shooting nearly 38% from three. They found it, Nook. Down to just 30%. From three, Williams might have taken an extra step, got away with it. McCain gets the foul. Devin Williams still trying to learn how to operate with his back to the basket. Good passing big man, just has to learn how to get some balance and leverage. Slow down a little bit, but he made that pass to a cutting McCain. McCain, directing traffic, McCain, baseline, Jay draws foul again. Just finds his spots, Paul. Watch his body, it's always squared up to the basket. And his head is up, his eyes are focused at the rim, which makes you think he's gonna shoot it in a moment's notice. And he gets you off balance just enough to create some space. And he's got a beautiful touch. He's got great mechanics, as I mentioned. You see the rotation on the jump shot. He can score and he can find. Part of that number one class headed to Duke next season with Sean Stewart and company. Perfect 10 for 10 from the free throw line tonight. Providing nearly half of his 23 points. Offensive hook back, Davies Lurie is in the senior power forward out of Chicago. Got some high major offers as well, but it's a 12 point game, a little more than eight minutes to go, and an offensive foul. Let's go five for you, Nook, five, five, five for Nook. This game has been so well played on both ends of the floor. 
Guys are really digging in defensively, and there's so much talent trying to make plays. That was Devin Williams from behind impacting the offensive move. Now Williams on the other end tries to get rewarded. Davis Lurie picks up the foul. Here's Brandon Dick, 6'1, 195 pounds. The senior hits the free throw. California Basketball Club in the building. Flight delayed a little bit, so Let's see if that impacts some of their performance here tonight. My guess is, young kids, no worse for the wear. You and me have to take the day off. Well, it depends. Was it commercial or charter? <laughs> Impacted on the way to the rim. That was Devin Williams. He's had a couple Williams. of those deflections tonight. Yes, when he gets stronger, he's going to be able not only to block shots, but just be a barrier to the rim for UCLA. Great two-man class coming in for Mick Cronin next year. Devin Williams and Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams from Christ the King High School in New York, a power forward. But tonight, it's all about Jared McCain. The Duke commit is putting on a show. Little magician behind the back. Push off and a three-point shot. That's right, Jared McCain. Here we go! Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance because you never know where life is going to take you. That's half the fun of a new house, seeing what people left behind in the attic. Well, saving on homeowner's insurance with GEICO's help was pretty fun, too. Well, enjoy your house. Nope. GEICO. Matthew, Little Caesars is now the official pizza of the NFL. Let's hear it. Pizza, pizza. Again. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. No! Pizza, pizza! We're ready! Are you ready for some old world fanceroni pepperoni? Get one delivered from Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. I used the wrong paint. It's not easy being a farmer. You're up with the sun and down in the dirt. It's hard work, but you like it that way. Nature is constantly changing, but it's not in your nature to quit. You sacrifice to support your family and our communities. It's only fair that there's someone supporting you. Are you ready for football? Are you dreaming for football? I love you, Josh Allen. Are you crafting, prepping, and screaming for football? Good. Then you're ready. It's a beautiful time for basketball. A season fresh with hope and stars vying for greatness. NBA Open Week begins Wednesday and continues Friday on ESPN. The GEICO Top Flight Invite presented by Axe is brought to you by GEICO. Switch today and see all the ways you can save. And Axe, smell irresistible all day. Matt Chick alongside Paul Biancardi. Hoop Nation with a 14-point lead. Seven and a half minutes to go here in this game. Game three of four today. Jared McCain. 
10 of 10 from the free throw line, 5 of 12 from the floor. 23 points to lead all scorers, Paul Biancardi. What is the number two shooting guard in the nation showing you tonight? He's made a dominating performance, and he's done it in an efficient manner. He's led his team from a scoring standpoint, rebounding standpoint, and leadership. You see him right now pointing to his teammates where to be and where to go. He, he brings the complete package to the game. He's going to be a star at Duke next season. Last year, 33 wins at Centennial High School. He and Devin Williams are going to go back at it again this year. They'll be one of the top high school teams in the nation. Centennial with the first open crowd. Definitely one of the top goals for them. And these kids going to be a part of that. Trying to run it back again. Foul here on the floor. In the first half, Donda had movement. They had screens. They had some cutting. And they had ball movement. And then as the game went on, they started to stand more got into a little bit of ISO basketball and the team defense of Hoop Nation that took advantage of that. Robert Dillingham, step back three, just has not been his night. One of 11 from the floor, 0 of six from three. Yeah, I think he came out to be a playmaker in this game versus a scoring guard. Sometimes when you predetermine what's going to happen, things don't go well. That one is rejected. What a block there by Aaron McBride. A great hustle. Good feed inside Taylor, but poked away by McCain. All the active hands underneath, and he comes up with it. He just controls the pace of the action. He turns himself into a point guard when he wants to set up the show and slow things down. Or he can be Mr. Transition and knock it down behind the arc. Just a smart, heady, outstanding guard. Look at that pass. Here's McBride. One on the shot clock. Got to get it off off the front of the iron. That one rebounded here. That's J.J. Taylor who comes up with it. 16-point deficit for Donda. You're going to start a comeback. You might as well do it now. How about Dillingham with the feed underneath to Barnaby? Evan Arby now in double figures. No, man up, man up, Listen, man when up. Dillingham is aggressive, he's quick and he's crafty. You're not going to keep him out of the lane. Beautiful give up. He's going to be more aggressive. First, he's got to get open to find the open gap. Right here in transition, he should be looking to attack the paint. Dillingham, that one closed off in the corner. Extra pass. Huh. That one is good. That's A.J. Johnson, number 25 in the ESPN 100. They're back with an 11. Just a gorgeous possession by Donda. Dillingham had two that time, so he couldn't get to the paint. He gave it up. They swung it to the opposite corner. They made one more and knocked it down. Just a gorgeous possession. Okay. On a little bit of a dry spell here. See if Donda can take advantage. Here, J.J. Taylor, the long strides. A foul on the floor. Donda needed some ball movement. They're finally getting it here, Paul. There's some team chemistry. Dillingham kicks it. They go one more, the extra. And the little shot fake, a little hesitation into the shot by A.J. Johnson. When the ball moves, Matt, it gives energy to your team. When the ball's over dribble, guys get bored, they watch, they stand around, and the defense can load up against the dribble. You can't load up against the pass. All right, they're within nine. Box, take up, box. Made life a little difficult on Jared McCain. McCain's missed his last couple of shots. Timeout. Timeout. 
Nation. Donda went to a zone. Hoop Nation called a timeout to discuss how they're going to attack that zone. Yeah, they're making a push here, but Jared McCain is going to have something to say about the outcome like he's had something to say about this entire game. Well, he came out on a mission in this game, taking advantage of what he could find. Threes in transition, the pick and roll game, drives to the basket, the penetration into the paint, gives it up, and how about this step back? Off the bounce. This one off the screen and roll. He's done it off the dribble, off the catch. He's been a facilitator, he's been a defender, and a rebounder, and, a and yes, and a talker. But this game's not over because Donda has tightened up their defense. Looks like they're gonna change their defense when they try to that last possession. Coach Josh Giles, a veteran of the game with over 400 wins. I'm sure he'll have his team prepared for it, man or zone. Josh Giles hired at Corona Centennial, 24 years old. 20th year there, it's the only job he's ever had. He said. Now part of this club team here with Hoop Nation. Oh, he's got the same players. It's a nine-point game. That one off the glass and in. That's a tough, tough move. But Eric Freeney makes a pay. Eric Freeney and Aaron McBride really give this Hoop Nation team a lot of balance. You know Jared McCain's going to be the go-to guy. But those who can really step up. Four players in double figures for Hoop Nation. Including Eric Freeney. Eric Freeney with a hard drive. Great body control. And concentration to finish. We got Devin Williams, 6'10", trying to hit the offensive glass in case the shot's missed. This is a team that plays hard together with really good chemistry. J.J. Taylor. Running a little try here for Donna. 11 point deficit. Three long. Kevin Williams nearly had another rebound. He does. Can't get that one to go, but goes to the free throw line. Boy, Devin Williams has done a lot of the dirty work here tonight. That's his ninth rebound to go run along with four blocks. Well, Donda had a chance to get the miss. Nobody secured the rebound. Devin Williams just hangs around the basket. He's got quick twitch fibers to get up quick. Long arms. And he'll take anything he can grab off the glass. But he goes to the glass, man. He doesn't float behind the three-point line. He anticipates the shot coming off the opposite side. He's got a beautiful jump shot and a good free throw shooter. He was in the 50s, the high 50s, when we changed the rankings, went to number 40. One of the biggest movers in the ESPN 100. Good defense here by Mikey Price. Taylor gets the screen, switched off. This is McBride now on him. And a timeout, Donda. With the basketball, could not get around Hoop Nation. And they do call a timeout with seven on the shot clock. Bottom of the hour, 12.30 a.m. Eastern. We will see California Basketball Club taking on LV Orange. Las Vegas Orange, the home team, Bishop Corbin. California Club. With Brody J should be must see TV or must see app on ESPN Plus. Brody James had a terrific summer and a strong August over in Europe. Had a chance to call three of his games. He played really well. He played hard. He had some highlight plays. He just continues to grow in the game. Creates his own path. Needs to step up in my eyes a little bit more as a leader. And I think he's trying to use his voice more, but he leads by example. He's a, he's a team player. He's 
got some help on that team as well. He's got Bryce Cofield, a very good young guard. I think all of that was just your way of saying and mentioning that you went overseas to cover basketball. And I just. Well, well, I did have to go to London, Paris, and Rome. Somebody had to do the grind. First world problems having to visit another part of the world there with Paul B. and Cardi. But the California Basketball Club got a chance to play together as a team. Good chemistry on that team. Good togetherness, and that will pay off in the next game. But they have a huge challenge with LV Orange because John Mobley Jr. is one of the best shooters in all of high school basketball, only a junior, class of 2024. He's gonna make his announcement on Sunday as well on ESPN2, time to be determined. AJ, AJ! 14 point lead for Hoop Nation out of Corona, California. Don to need some shots. Dillingham might be the one to take it. Nope, dishes off. Taylor, no. Dillingham, yeah. Just his second made shot of the day. He's two of 13 from the floor pole. But when he gets downhill and he gets a crack of space, Matt, to the basket. Hoop Nation has doubled him a lot. He can create for himself or others. And that's what he did. He created for his teammate, got the offensive rebound on the miss. He's got great touch. That one, that jersey was pulled as he went up. Rarely see that. It was Aaron McBride who had an alley oop to his name, but his shirt was being held down in order for him to not take lift off. See, I think Dillingham has to get off the ball at times so the ball can come back to him. Check Watch this. McBride, Watch 21. <laughs> Watch yeah, they, <laughs> that looked like a flag in football. That Holding was Chuck Bailey Jr. Number yes. four, Donda. Go, JJ, go. Marco. JJ Taylor's got to get off the ball. Too many dribbles to get to his spot. Takes too long. Cannot connect from long range. Can't connect on the follow. Here's Taylor, step back three. That one is finally good. That's his second made three. He's got 16 points to lead all Don to players. Huge possession right here. Donda looks like they're gonna play man. Uh, they showed zone, they went man. Get a stop here in a bucket. You get it to single digits under two minutes. Jared McCain's gone pretty quiet over the last few minutes, but he's created for others as well. Drawn some traffic. Guys like Mikey Price. Getting the payoff, he's got 14 points. I think what Jared McCain does is he attracts so much attention, the floor opens up for other players. Oh, yeah, well, that was a really nice feed there from Ben Arby. And now he got a 10 point game. And Donda has to dig in. Don't put Hoop Nation to the line. And try to get out and convert. Be solid, be tough. Contest and clean up. Devin Williams throws that one down. You can see that one coming. The rebound. The throwdown. He's got 11 rebounds and 8 points. Well, Devin Williams cleaned up. Donda should have got that defensive rebound. And the two stars with two big rebounds in the last minute. Devin Williams on the offensive end. Jared McCain just moved bodies to get that defensive rebound. UCLA commit and the Duke commit 
the high major prospects here for Hoop Nation. Doing a lot of the work here tonight for the winning team. 30 seconds to go. Step back. Mikey Bray. Sure, why not? He's got 16 points. Should do it as McCain dribbles it out. Well, the clock is still. Well, there was a there was a timeout, or there was a clock stoppage. Regardless, Jared McCain, guess who? Tonight's player of the game, presented by Chevrolet EV. Jared McCain, perfect from the free throw line, gets a double double, 23 points, 12 rebounds to go along with three assists. Number 16 in the ESPN 100, Paul. Well, from tip to buzzer, Jared McCain is a dominating factor in this game. Not only as a scorer, but a rebounder, a leader, and had a few assists. He was sensational tonight. Price had 16, Freedy and McBride each had 12 apiece. J.J. Taylor, 16 in the losing effort for Donda. Got one more game to go tonight. California Basketball Club and Ill B. Orange. Paul promised us a closer game. He was correct. Still double digits. Hoop Nation wins it by 14. So long from Vegas. Here we go! Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance because you never know where life is going to take you. That's half the fun of a new house, seeing what people left behind in the attic. Well, saving on homeowner's insurance with GEICO's help was pretty fun, too. Well, enjoy your house. Nope. GEICO. Yo, my name is Luis, and the little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the different flavors that are hitting your mouth at every millisecond. You get the explosion and the zestiness of the chicken, then that spice just kicks in, and if you had that cilantro lime, perfection. Hi, this is Becky, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is that marinade, they make sure that it is on the entire piece of chicken and not just on top. The pepper, whatever else is secret in their marinade, it's amazing. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. So that's just a Klarna payment being super protective. He stays close by when you shop, giving you buyer protection on every purchase so you can shop safely at any store. It's a very serious job. With DirecTV, I can get live TV and on demand together. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Whoops. Oh, the housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. I just want to talk! Who flips the table? Get your TV together. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV to save up to $120.